Welcome back to Wave and Docker. Allergy ridden Wave it here. Um, another episode of Week in Music, episode 19, I believe. That sounds right. Four albums this week. Um, pretty good week, actually. I think I did a pretty good job choosing the albums this week. Um, yeah, there was a 90 in here, I think. I'm gonna try and look, I'm trying to look back. I have such a hard time recalling stuff. I'm, I'm really bad at that kind of thing. But, um, you know, I'm just gonna let the guys talk about it, and then we can get back to me. In the last one, I say on to the fifth album. I did listen to a fifth album, but it was like an hour-long ambient album, and I couldn't really think of anything to say besides good ambient music, so I decided to omit that. It was Structures of Silence by Uja What's It? Maybe I'll put it up right here. But um, yeah, on to the four albums, and then back to me. So here they are. Album number one of the week, Moving Away by Gleamer. Came out 2015. Another shoegaze album happened upon this when I was scrolling through just shoegaze songs to play because I like shoegaze and I listened to that Galaxy 500 album and I was like, you know what, I like this. I'm trying to find a better one. And I found a better one. I actually really, really enjoyed this album. I mean, I like shoegaze, just like full, not, or not full stop, but just generally I'm like, oh, shoegaze, I like it. But I just like that, like the feel, like the, the guitar, the vocals, I, it's just very me. I like that. Um, this album was cool. Um, the vocals were really neat. It was like that. Like, you know that whole meme with Halsey and how her vocals are like, whatever the hell, I don't even know what I'm talking about. But they weren't like that, but I really, I don't know. It was something similar to that, where like the vocals were very like, it's like, it sounds like stereotypical, like whiny teenager, but just in like a good way. I don't know if that makes sense. So maybe if you listen to this record, maybe you'll see what I'm saying. But I don't know, I listened to this record, I just, I thought the vocals were cool. The guitar was great. And it's just overall, just a really solid, neat, compact, 35 minutes, just a nice, Nice little record. I really, really enjoyed it. I'm saying record like I'm uh, Fantano, but you know what I mean. I'm going to go give me 84 hot dogs out of 100. I thought it was just a great listen. And I, yeah, I said a good time listening to it. I enjoyed it. On to the next album. Album numero two of the week. Um, first band on the moon by the Cardigans. Came out in 1995. Scrolling through the indie suggested area. Found the Cardigans. Remembered, oh, I love Love Fool. This is the album that Love Fool's on. And I love this album. I thought this album was actually really, really awesome. They did a cover of Iron Man by Black Sabbath, and I thought that was fantastic. I It reminded me a lot of, I listened to that Heather album a few weeks ago, Covered in Heather, where they did a bunch of covers. And it was just really cool hearing, I mean, Heather did a lot more covers where it's kind of, like the sound is adjacent to Heather's sound. Like Heather's, you know, a lot, you know, light, airy, indie, and the songs they covered were similar to that. Like they covered a Carpenter's track and stuff like that, but, to hear an indie group with a female vocalist cover Iron Man by Black Sabbath is just really cool. And that was a cool listen. Love Fool was fantastic. I mean, top to bottom, this album was it was really awesome. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I, I, I like the Cardigans, I guess now. Because I mean, I, I knew I loved Love Fool, so I like this album. I'm gonna give this album, give me 92 hot dogs out of 100. It was really, really solid. I'll check it out if you haven't. Just, just some cool tunes on this, this record. On to the next album. Album number three of the week, Tyla by Tyla. Came out last year, her debut album. Um, I liked what I heard. Uh, Tyla, like Dua Lipa. Gorgeous, you know. Um, but I didn't let that affect my enjoyment of this album like I did with the Dua Lipa. I mean, I talked about that in the last video, but... Um, the sound was interesting. Waters on this album, her like iconic, you know, that's like her big hit. And then she has another song that's like kind of has like Gunna on it. I forget what it's called, but that's like blowing up on TikTok right now too. Oh yeah, she's a great personality. She was at the Met Gala on um was that Sunday or Monday? Um, I mean yeah, she's huge right now. I thought this album was really I enjoyed I enjoyed it more than Dua Lipa's. I think it was more consistent, and I don't think my my issue with the Dua I'm talking about Dua no, whatever Tyler's album was great. Um, she's a really uh, nice accent, and I feel like that accent shines through in a lot of these songs. It adds a little bit of like, I feel, I feel like I sound so white saying this, but like, I don't know, it adds like an ethnic flair to it. Like, it just makes these like R&B, like kind of club mixes just sound a little bit more, like it just adds another layer to it that I really enjoy. Um, <clears throat> the Travis Scott water remix was kind of mad, bad, like one of his worst features, I think. I, I, I don't know, I just... It kind of just feels like it was just thrown on there. Like, I don't think he added any, like, personality to it. And he said, like, ass so fat, got to pour a gallon on it or something crazy. Like, what are you talking about, Travis? 
but um this album was okay i i enjoyed it it was a good listen throughout like it just kind of stayed in its own box and i enjoyed that box that it stayed in pause um i'm gonna go 72 hot dogs out of 100 for these eye bags are crazy for tyla tyla on to the next album album number four of the week big fish theory move by Vin why is it doing this by vince staples came out 2017 um i heard a lot of good things about this record so i wanted to check it out um has a cool fish cover as you can see here on the screen um yeah it's the second album that checked out by vince staples i've also listened to ramona flowers something something broke my heart i don't know it came out like two years ago that one was also really good. I like Ben Staples a lot. He's a good good personality, and he has a really cool voice. But this album was super cool. Um, the production was nuts. It was very, like, I don't know. It was just a fun listen, and it felt different than a lot of, you know, traditional, you know, mainstream hip-hop albums of 2017. Like, it was very, like, I don't know. It, sound, it kind of sounded like it was, like, in a cool, like, I could hear some of these songs playing in the Iceberg Lounge and the Batman, if that makes sense. Like, it's just very, like, compressed, but, like, like I don't know. I feel, like, I feel like, like a synth would fit really well in a lot of these beats that he was rapping over. Like, it just felt, I don't know. It was just, like, it, was just it just sounded cool. And I liked it. I'm going to go, I'm going to go 89 Hot Dogs out of 100. This album was just a cool listen, and I just, I, I enjoyed it. And like I said, it's just cool. Iceberg Lounge, I guess. You know, the Batman. But yeah, that's album number four of the week. On to the next one. And now back to me. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know albums you want me to listen to. The same thing I say every time. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Peace out.